guys and welcome back to my channel. So I actually filmed a plan with me for this week in my mini and my video file got corrupted. So I still thought I could um, show you what I did and kind of explain what I did because I'm doing something a little bit different in my mini for this week. So um, it's still a plan with me, but you know, I already did the spread, but I'm going to explain this. So this is my mini social media planner. Um, and I just started using this again after not using it for quite some time because I'm really trying to keep up with my planner. Um, you know, my planning with Cass brand, if you will. Um, you know, with Instagram, I started a blog, got a YouTube channel, obviously, uh, made a Facebook page, all that. So I wanted to have a planner just for that to help me, um, keep track of what I'm posting rather than just being impulsive. I wanted to start being strategic. Um, and I've done this, you know, in a professional setting, like with work, but for planning, since I guess because it's a creative outlet for me, I never really saw it as like something I needed to be strategic about as far as planning what I'm going to photograph, what I'm going to video, um, or what I'm going to film what I'm going to post and what day I'm going to post it and all that. So I wanted to be more intentional. So what I'm doing, so I'm going to show you last week and what I did. So this was very, um, functional. <laughs> so I, I did obviously decorate it. I got some kind of stain here. I don't know what that is. Probably coffee. Um, I did obviously, you know, decorate it and I felt like I was running out of room and like this wasn't really helping me. It helped me some, like it helped me to remember some things. And then on Thursday, I decided I wanted to change up my feed on my Instagram and do a black background on one post and then alternate with a white background and a black. So it's like a checkerboard kind of. Um, and so that requires some planning, right? To make sure that you are, you know, photographing what you want to post on a certain day with the right background to match what you want to do. So it's a, it's an extra step, but I want to challenge myself and try it. So um, this ended up being kind of a hodgepodge, but it helped me to learn um, what I want to do for this week to help me with this. So what I did, you can see here what I was trying to do. So this was just like a random like brain dump up brain dump of um what my feed would be like so you know white background black background white back so I was just trying to plan it out so that's what that mess is um and so what I did for this one take my dashboard out so you can see shout out to Wilder Love in Greenwood Delaware awesome awesome place um <clears throat> so I just took another one of these brain dump sheets and it's hourly on this side. I just use the other side. And so what I did was I just wrote down all the days of the week. And I knew um, pretty much, you know, what I was going to post. And I just kind of started playing it out. And I used colors, like different pen colors, to signify um, what background color I would have. So I actually started here with um, red signified a white background. The blue was a lifestyle photo. The purple was a YouTube video was going to go up. And then black was just a black background. And I ended up changing that because having red for white background instead of YouTube, my brain, my brain was like red YouTube. I, it just, it wasn't working. So what I ended up doing was I changed it and I wrote my little key here. Black background, the teal is white background. Purple is lifestyle photo and red is YouTube video. And that makes sense in my brain, so that's what matters. And so what I did was I just kind of took what I wrote here. And a big part of this is planning out what the background color is going to be. So I did write Saturday, Friday through Sunday of the previous week, um, before this week, just to make sure my colors were right. So I knew that on Sunday, the last photo I would post would have a white background and Monday... Um, the first one would need to be a black background. So I went in here and did before the pen in my classic. So I'm just going to post my before the pen, my classic, um, and make sure that it has a black background. Plan with me, uh, mini for mini mania Monday. Um, that is going to be a white background. 
again to alternate black background, white background. And then I have um, this video that you, you'll be seeing on Monday. Um, it was supposed to be a plan with me. Again, it's still kind of a plan with me, but um, I already did the spread because <laughs> my video file is corrupted. Yay. So, um, and then Tuesday, I'm just not sure what I'm going to post yet. Just being honest, I'll figure it out. But I left a blank space there and I did a black bullet point so that I know that that's going to be a black background so I can remember that. Wednesday is Washi Wednesday. That's going to be a white background. Um, Thursday, black background. I'm going to do a throwback Thursday and do a photo of a spread from my memory keeping book from last year. I thought it would be fun to kind of look back on that because I did that for a video, but I didn't take many pictures of my old spreads. I threw this in here. Um, by the way, all these stickers are from Miss Maker and I'm still holding on to this Miss Maker accessory book. <laughs> Love this thing. Um, the sticky notes are actually in the front of my sticker organizer. So that's why they're not there, but I just, I love these and I just felt like doing uh, Miss Maker this week for my mini. Thought about doing Miss Maker, my classic, but I ended up doing a spring theme, um, which you can see in my classic plan with me, which I will link in the eye up above. Um, so anyway, so I stuck this in here, you know, if there's anything I need to just jot down or if I have any ideas, I can just throw it right on this card, it makes it super easy and it's front and back. And then for Friday, we're going to go back to the white background. I'm going to do a fun corner Friday of, um, I have two stickers that I kind of layered or put right next to each other. Um, it's just like a little letter and with like a heart closure and it says hugs. And I'm um, actually already had that photo done and it's ready. So I knew that that's what I was going to do for Fun Corner Friday, so I went ahead and wrote that in there. Then Saturday, we're going back to black background, doing um, an after the pen for my classic. And then Sunday is going to be a lifestyle photo um, of my kitties, because I realized that I have not uh, shared my cats <laughs> with <laughs> my Instagram followers, um, and they're a big part of my life, so I thought I would share a picture of them. And so down here, I just turned this into obviously the key for the, the colors. And then um, I did a reminder here to use Buffer or Hootsuite to schedule my posts. I'm very familiar with social media management um, and social media scheduling tools. I just, again, like I've never done it for my planning stuff. Um, so I'm going to do that. Not sure which one I'm going to use yet. I'm just kind of playing with it to see what works best for me. And then to update my Instagram stories daily. Um, and a big issue that I have, and I've always had this, this problem, um, I love to plan things and I love to plan out what I'm going to post, but there, you know, things come up and I'm like, oh, I really want to post this, but then it's going to mess up my feed. Well, that's why the stories are so great. I remember when Instagram didn't have stories? Yeah. And Facebook didn't have stories? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to start um, trying to, I pretty much do that anyway but I'm going to try to keep um, updating my Instagram stories daily. And at the top here, you know, again, I wanted to keep this very open so it would be functional. Um, I'm definitely going to go in and, and write things underneath here. You know, I might add stuff. I might um, come up with ideas for, for photos or something. Um, but I just kind of wanted to keep it open to see. And maybe I thought about also writing in here, like maybe if I do this washy Wednesday post and it gets like, you know, an abnormal amount of likes or something that I would document that, um, just to hold on to that and, and kind of see how things are going and, um, to remember that. So that is what I did in my, uh, social media planner for this week. And I wanted to keep it open. I'm going to see how this works. Again, this is my first week doing it this way, and I am going to go into, you know, a social media scheduler to schedule my posts out, um, but what I'm going to try to do, I don't know how well this is going to work, <laughs> but for everything except the after the pen, obviously, um, by the time you're watching this, hopefully I've already done it all, but <laughs> I'm hoping to, over this weekend, so, like, the... 16th and the 17th, take all the photos, get them all edited and schedule everything out so that I'm not posting every single day 
like I have been, um, just to, you know, make things easier on myself because work smarter, not harder, right? So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Obviously, I can't photograph the after the pen until after the pen. So that'd be one that I'll have to do as that comes up. But, um, you know, I may end up adding more posts if I think of something and like Tuesday is still open. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, but I'm going to try my best to do as many things um, ahead of time as I possibly can just to save myself some time. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to my feed having the alternating black and white. So it's kind of like a checkerboard. I'm hoping it works out. I don't know long. I don't know how long I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I may end up just switching to a white background or a black background, <laughs> but I want to at least um, at least attempt it. And if I really like it, then I'll I'll keep going. So um, again, I'm sorry that that I lost my original footage. I was pretty upset myself, um, but I hope that. You know, maybe this inspired you. You know, if you have a, um, a social media planner, you know, I would love to hear from you in the comments how you plan your social media posts. If you have any tips, any ideas. Um, and hopefully, you know, maybe this helped you or help, you know, give you an idea. I used to color code stuff all the time in college when I was studying. And it's just something I've kind of like gotten away from. So I thought I would kind of go back to it just for fun and um, as long as it works well in my brain that's that's good for me right so um, thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you hanging out with me and um, please you know give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already if you would like to see more of this content and uh, I'll see you guys next time bye